welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long since we posted anything. There's been sickness in the family and work and everything going on. We just haven't had time to work on the camper. Now we've got the materials. We're gonna start working on it again. In the last video, we finished these walls, the bathroom, shower, surround. Installed the air conditioner. Did some other things, changing around, cleaning up some stuff. In this video, we're gonna to try to complete our beds, a slide out bed and then a bed that hangs from E tracks on the wall. We'll try to get that was finished in this video. Once again, I wanna welcome you back to the channel. Sorry it's taken so long to post something up. I've just been really busy. Right here, we're gonna cut the slats and some of the frame that we're gonna to use to build the slide out bed. I've never done this before, but we saw people on YouTube do it and it looked fairly easy. Don't you just love YouTube? I hope that you find something that I do that might help you also. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna make it where it'll slide out. When it slides out, it's gonna be, I think, six inches short width-wise and length-wise of being a full king-size bed. Um, then we're gonna cut the mattress in halves it's a memory foam mattress so that when we slide it into the couch position the cushions will be a back and a bottom so we're going to do that and see how it turns out we may have to change a few things but let's get everything cut and just see how it turns out okay right there is the front part of it that's going to slide out that whole thing will slide out with every other slat on top of it, screwed to it. And then I'll build one exactly like that one that will be on the inside part of it. And then the same as that, the slats that are not screwed to this one, we screwed to that one. And that's how we'll slide it out. Let's get it done. Okay, here's what I've been doing. I know it's, you don't really have to do it that way, but I've been kind of marking how far out I want to put a little line. I put me a little line. And then I take this just a little uh, counter sinking bit I bought at Home Depot. I'll go down a little bit, then I'll turn it, and I'll just slope it like that. And I found that a lot easier to do than this little thing she bought. That's hard to. It does. It makes it look real pretty, but it's real hard to use. That's what I've been doing to, to get these bits countersunk. And so far, it works great. And if I mark it like that, then they're the same every single time. Every board's exactly the same. I just like it to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way, but that's just the way I like to do it so it looks uniform. Okay, here we are. We've got two of the frames. That's two frames. One's going to sit flat on the floor, and another one's going to lift all the way up to the bottom of those legs. And that will be the base right here, which we'll have storage under it. And then we'll put the slides, will come out somewhere right in there. It'll have slats that'll slide out to make the bed. That's the first part of the frame for the bedding right there. Let's get the rest of it done. And now we're finishing up putting the screws in the base part of the bed. And we screwed it together. Now this part, it'll have slats on top of it and every other slat will be on a slide out. And then it'll have a, a header like this on the other side and some legs on that. Then we'll cut our foam mattress, memory foam mattress, to fit on here exactly how we need it when we get this completely done. Let's get that done. See what else we can do. Okay, there part of it is these are just laying up on that. They're not screwed down or anything, but that's part of the building. How we're going to do it over here, I'll get this board right here. How we decided to do it was that board will go there, and that's what they'll attach to to slide out every other one. So we made them all where they would come out to the edge of that board like that flush every single board and then like i said every other board will slide out 
with this. This will have legs on it and it'll slide all the way out and pull those out. And it will double the width of the bed here. And then underneath it, we'll probably box this side in. Or underneath it, this is gonna put something there. We're gonna put some crates or something in there to store stuff. So all underneath the couch part of it will be storage. So that's what we're working on. Let's get back to work. Okay, right there, we've got the front on there. This is the part that every other one attached to and that will slide out and these will be the legs for that part that slides out. It's gonna be 72 inches wide 72 inches. and 72 inches long the bed when we're finished. Six feet square. So let's let's get to finishing it up, but you can see how we've we've got all these and these are screwed screwed in there. When we get the brace in the back underneath it that stops it from coming out too far. We'll slide it open and I'll video that where everyone can see. And I'll explain more about how we did it. Okay, here we go. We've got it together. You see how it pulls out? Underneath there, we have a stopper that'll pull our way out against this frame right here. There it is, pulled out. And then with the mattress will fit right on there. It's just shy of a king size bed but that's the way we're going to try to fix it right now we may have to put some braces that we can sit down after we pull it out and stuff yeah. but right now we're going to try to finish it up we got to cut the mattress to fit and think that that's what it is slide it back in let's see what so we made it where you can just kind of lift up on this end right here it's easier for two people to do it because we push it in even. Yeah. One person. We ended up putting some guides on each side to lift that back up where you could slide it in a lot easier. And that helped a lot. We also put washers under the screws and that helped a lot too. You know, it slides in and out easier. Welcome back. Now it's the next day. Today we're going to get started on finishing we'll probably have to cut cut the mattress to size to fit this when it's pulled out um, I know yesterday when we were here we worked on getting this thing apart but it's hard to slide out we're going to do a little more trimming and we're going to cut the mattress to fit then we're going to build a bed that's over here that's going to I put wood in there hardwood in there and then four by fours over here and they're going to put e-tracks and that bed will raise all the way up to the ceiling when it's not being slept in or not at sleeping hot and it'll be up here somewhere so you can still walk in and out of the door with no problem so we're going to work on that today and see how it works out and if we have enough time we're going to finish that doorway okay change of plans here we really found out that it's way too tall so we're going to have to do something about that let's get it done but these are way too long. We didn't realize how thick the mattress is that we're putting on there. It's over 10 inches thick. So when we actually put the mattress on there, it really makes it too high off the floor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down six inches. That way it'll be just a little taller than where just the the frame of it is. So all we're gonna do is cut the legs off, six inches off the legs, and then put it back in there. Then we're gonna get putting the e-tracks on those walls over here for the other bed. Let's get to it, see what we can get done. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. It took more time to shorten these legs and to shorten it than it did just to build the entire bed. You, you can see it's a lot shorter than it was. It's about knee height, plenty of, when you sit down, it's comfortable to sit down, to stand on, so it looks really good. What we're gonna to have to do with this mattress though, is we're gonna cut that one straight down the middle so that we can double the back of it up. And then when you put it into the couch mode, you, you can sit, lean up against it without, and still maybe have your legs on the floor. So that's what we got planned on doing. Sorry we didn't get the E-Trax bed built. We'll do that probably in the next video. Okay, this is kind of the finished product of what we've done. This 
part of the mattress this half. I think we're gonna cut it in half again and the mattress will be three parts. That way, it's a long distance to sit right here. We'll double it up so that you don't have far, plus it won't block the window back there. We're gonna do that, but we also changed some stuff on the frame itself. If you can see, we lowered it seven inches because it was way too tall with that thick mattress on there. And we changed these to where they were sitting on the inside. Now they're sitting on top of the frame. You can see we doubled, it's got two of these. One slides out and one don't. But the um, now it sits on top of there. And then we turned this one flat on the floor because once we lowered it, it didn't leave much room to put the crates that we're gonna put stuff in underneath there. So we laid that one flat. Now we can get the seven inch crates or the storage containers underneath there. That's what we're gonna to use to put stuff in. So you can just kind of see what it looks like. But now it's a perfect height. It's knee height to sit down and stuff. And then when we get this one cut, and you can cut this stuff with electric knife or something. I actually, we cut this one in half actually with, I took a Sawzall blade and the teeth, the side that don't have the teeth on it, I sharpened it on a grinder and it would cut right through it like hot butter. So that worked out very well. But this is the way it looks now. And we lowered it and that's, we didn't get the other bed built in this video because it took so much time to change all this, we had to take it all apart and, and redo it. But it's much better the way it is now, I guess. That's just part of doing stuff. Sometimes you have to learn as you go and figure out better ways of doing stuff. And that's what we did here. I think this will work out a lot better for us. I just want to kind of show what we did to make this thing. It's real easy to slide in and out now. It don't hang up at all. And the ones that don't slide out, we put a washer under this end in between the, the bottom of this one and the part that slides out. Well, not the part that slides out, but the other side. So it lifts that board up off of the part that slides out just a little. And then on this end, between that bottom board and the one that actually slides out, we put washers under those so that it lifts that board up a little bit. So that when it slides into the front, See how easy it is to slide out one hand. But it created a little gap so it slides up on there better. So now it really slides in and out very easily. Don't get hung up. Just try to keep it level. This this side out evenly with that side. You can see I'll reach up in here with one hand and slide it up in there. And it goes all the way up in there. It's like a drawer now, it's really, really easy. So now we're really loving it. It was a pain, but we got it figured out. So it's very easy to do. If we can do it, I think anyone can do it. So that's the finished product other than cutting the mattress. And in the next video, we are gonna build the bed that sits on the e-tracks and it'll be down somewhere around here sleeping height and then it'll go all the way to the ceiling where you can still walk under it and walk out that door when it's not being used so that will be the next video that then we're gonna try to hook up the 12 volt water pump to put the plumbing into the wall for the shower uh inside the shower where the drain is we're gonna hook the drain up and fix all that where we can drain it out into a tank if that's what we choose to do. But that's probably gonna be the next things. Then we can actually use it because there's campgrounds that have bathrooms but no showers. So we're gonna fix it up where we got hot water and we can at least take a shower in the camper. Uh, that's what we're gonna do next. And then after that, then I guess we'll start on building our cabinets. We've been actually looking for some pre-made cabinets that we can kind of change to fit our needs, but we haven't had any luck. So what we are gonna do the shower and the E-Track bed that'll raise up and down in the next video.
thank you for watching and please hit that like and subscribe button and hopefully you found something in this video that will help you with your project thank you and keep moving forward